Lucas Media. My bad, y'all hear the noise in the background. Uh, got maintenance over. But Tim Tazoo and uh, Sebastian Fondora fought this past weekend. Unified WBC WBO titles at 154 pounds. And honestly, I thought Tim Tazoo was going to win. But he got hit accidental elbow by uh, Fen- Fandora and after that he just wasn't the same some people say it was a bloodbath but I mean every time he tried to get some work in he kept rubbing his eyes trying to get the blood out of his eyes I don't know why his team didn't have the proper the proper stuff to fix the blood on his head the gas should I say on his head even the announcer said that it was something forget the name but they could have put it on there because it's legal in nevada but they just didn't have it so they were ill prepared they must have thought that tim was going in there and dog walk him i mean it was, a, it, was, it was a good fight i do think that if if to do if he wasn't if he could see he probably wouldn't have won the fight but i also heard he didn't have a rematch clause so now fandor is unified champion this him and his sister are the only people to be like that in a boxing. His sister's a champion in women's boxing. We'll see what's next. Earl Spence was at the fight. I'm gonna make a separate video about it. Earl Spence was at the fight, and I think that it's gonna be some games. But I don't understand why Tim Tazu did not have a rematch clause. That that makes no sense to me. Every champion should be able to negotiate a rematch clause. But I don't think Loma, Loma had one when he fought um, Tiafimo Lopez. I don't think he had a rematch clause. And I know Devin Haney didn't have a rematch clause if he would have lost to Loma. So maybe they're not as popular. But I remember every fighter, no matter who they was, if they lost a belt, they had a rematch clause. When Anthony Joshua lost to Andy Ruiz, he exercised his rematch clause and they fought in Saudi Arabia. Which, if I remember right, was one of the first boxing fights over there. And now, look, now everybody going to Riyadh. So, I do think that fighters need to do that. But, I mean, we'll see. I mean, Tim Zoo, you should have had it in the contract. Fandora is now unified champion. A couple people, the big names are calling him out. But we, all, we already know that boxing is business before the sport. And we're going to see what kind of games they're going to be playing. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?